happy Saturday. Yup, you heard that right. This vlog is only gonna be Saturday and Sunday as opposed to the entire weekend, including Fridays. Um, so, I have you hands-free mode right now because I am cleaning up my tabletop. I have, I'm basically a day behind. Um, so, yesterday and today, I've had a horrendous headache. It won't go away. At first I thought it was because um, uh, I went out on Thursday night, but I was like, it's not like I got hammered. I had two beers, you know? So I was like, it's not because of that. Maybe I'm dehydrated, you know, because I'm not used to drinking beer anymore. Beer is like really, really harsh on your system, even though it's my favorite. Um, so I was like, maybe it's because of that. But no, I've been drinking nonstop water and nothing's helping. Um, I thought, okay, maybe it's because I didn't drink coffee yesterday. So it's a caffeine headache. So I drank coffee and I took an Excedrin migraine like medication, doesn't help. So I'm just chalking it up to some, my body has these like uh, little bouts of uh, rebelliousness, I like to call it, um, after I got my iron treatments. So there are days where, you know, I feel extra lethargic or extra nauseous or dizzy or whatever. And it's all part of the, it's, it's part of the package. Yay! Um, it's just kind of like those days where it's a little bit harder for my body to process, absorb, store, and be like, yo, I'm making you better. Suck it up, sucka. Uh, anyway, so today is Saturday. Um, it's gonna be a super busy day today and tomorrow because I'm behind one whole day. I do wanna show you guys my Thrive Market haul. So a portion of this video is gonna be sponsored by Thrive Market, but we'll get to it in a second. I'm actually kind of excited to do that, um, but I wanna do it when I don't look like this. Um, because I want to try doing my own bulletproof coffee. Whenever I go to a restaurant and I see that they offer bulletproof coffee, and I don't mean restaurant like I'm going to sit down and eat a meal and I want bulletproof coffee because bulletproof coffee is supposed to be like a meal replacement. Um, anyway, so I've always wanted to try it myself. So when Thrive Market asked me to do another collaboration with them, I was like, that depends. Do you have these ingredients on your website? And they're like, um, we're a Thrive Market, duh. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, at some point we're gonna experiment together and do a mini Thrive Market haul and bulletproof coffee recipe. Um, so today we have to film, I wanna film my favorites. I wanna do a get ready with me. Um, I have a lot of errands that I want to run, but these are actually exciting errands. Um, I want to go to DSW. I bought some shoes that I am completely in love with, but they showed up and they look like completely beat up. Uh, they're suede sandals and they're just like all yucky. So I'm hoping they have them in store. DSW is one of those stores that usually has everything in store and online, which is great because if you're like an instant gratification person, you can order online and pick up in store the same day. Anyway, so we'll film a couple of videos. Uh, right now, like I said, I'm cleaning my little desk so that when I film, I can't, I can't work on clutter, you guys. Like I have to be like on this nice, like every time it has to be like this nice clean space. Um, oh, I did want to ask you guys, and maybe I'll do like a little poll or something. Um, I've gotten, maybe in the last two months, about five or six requests to change my background. People are like, all right, enough is enough. It's been five years. Like you've been in this corner for five years. That's my corner. <laughs> uh, change it up. So I can, like, I love, I'm like that girl that would always rearrange her room. And my mom would be like, all right, that's Sam's personalized ringtone, FYI. Um, so I'm the girl that um, always changed, changed her room around completely, like the bed and, you know, the direction of the TV and stuff like that. So if you guys want me to change things up, I can. Um, it's a lot of work. Uh, especially when it's been like this for so long, but I, I mean, I don't mind. Um, who doesn't like change? Actually, nobody likes change. But I mean, it's, I, 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 I'm not opposed is what I'm saying. You know, like this is kind of like my little thing, but if y'all want to see something different, I mean, I could always tear it all down, repaint a wall and uh, get a new background going. I mean, I could always use another thing on my a thousand list of things to do. That sounded totally sarcastic, but I'm being totally honest. <laughs> um, anyway, so what else? I feel like I need to catch you guys up because we're behind on a whole day. Um, Sam's coming next week. Actually, when y'all see this vlog, 
she'll already be here. And we have this amazing video concept for you guys that I am dying to share with you. I guess I could tell you now. So when I'm filming this video, Sam's not here yet. She'll be here on Thursday, so in a couple of days. But when you're seeing this video, she's already been here since Thursday. Now, one of our video concepts that we wanna do, because the last few times she's visited, we haven't filmed together. One of our video concepts is going to Target and both of us shopping for the same outfits in our different body types. So I'm really looking forward to it because I look like a really tall 13 year old boy with boobs and she is like average height, but she's very, very curvy, you know? Um, so it's like, can we make this happen? And we are both huge advocates for Target clothing. Like, it always gets us. There's always cute stuff for us. And there have been many occasions where she's like, hey, that shirt, and I'm like, Target, and then we go, and she gets it, and we both get the same shirt. So we thought it would be really cool to be like twinning with our two different body types, especially when you can get an outfit for like 50 bucks at Target. Anyway, so I'm going to finish cleaning up this area. I'm gonna jump in the shower and I'll start getting ready to film. Uh, and then we'll just spend the day together today and tomorrow and see what happens. I told my friend Hilda that I would go out with her tonight. There's this place called Waterproof. It's a rooftop bar at the Statler, this new hotel. It's like this 19, 50s, I want to say, hotel, maybe 1920s. I don't know. They have the whole speakeasy vibe and the old school Chevys parked out front. Um, so I promised her that I would go out with her tonight. But y'all, we had tornadoes yesterday because it was like 75 degrees. And now today it feels like the tundra. So I don't know if a rooftop bar sounds like something that I really want to be a part of. However, if I need to bust out a winter dress <laughs> mid April, Y'all know I'm gonna do it. So that's it for now. I love you. Hey, you guys, 12 o'clock. Um, we need to talk about this shirt for a second. So do you guys ever shop online and you see something that is absolutely so cute that you just add it in your cart, you check out, it arrives, and then you feel bamboozled? What I'm about to show you may make you a little uncomfortable, if you're a mommy, you'll be able to sympathize, but I went on Free People, the website where I get that cute little bralette that all of you guys asked me about, and I saw this shirt, and it was just the most adorable shirt. It kind of reminded me of those like little girl dresses, you know, that have the little crinkly thing here in the middle. I don't know what it's called. It's like an accordion. So it's like, oh, it's so reminiscent of like when I was younger and then this like linen fabric. I don't know. It gave me like little, I don't know, uh, like artisanal Mexican vibes, you know, like uh, uh, whatever. Okay. I don't know where I'm going with this except for the fact that I feel like I was bamboozled. I like rip the package open. I'll put it on and it's a crop top. I'm well aware of my body type and I'm not gonna get into like a body shaming topic or like a feminism topic or anything scintillating, scandalous or like hot button issue. That's not me. You all know that's not me. I, I swerve and I curve and I totally dodge and like matrix these type of conversations. I don't get into them. So I'm thin, but I'm also very tall and I'm also a mother. So my personal preference, even though I'm thin is, I'm not a big fan of crop tops. I'll wear them with like a pair of really high-waisted slacks or jeans, but I always put on like a blazer or a vest or like a denim jacket over them, right? That's just my style. Now, if you aren't thin and you like to wear crop tops, great. If you are a mom of 17 kids and you like to wear crop tops, Great. Um, I've talked about this before on my channel and there's always a slew of hate that comes with it. It's clothes, y'all. You'll wear whatever you want. I personally don't feel comfortable in a crop top. So the point of the story is this is the cutest shirt ever and I was so excited when I ordered it. I just didn't know it was a crop top. So again, the point of the story is, have y'all ever done that? Like where you're so excited, you place an online order and then it arrives and you're like, where's the rest of it? Or it arrives and you're like, oh wait, it's a, it's a kid size? Or you order it and it arrives and you're like, wait, it's not stretchy? Cause everything on my body needs to be stretchy. <laughs> That's all I'm talking about. So anyway, I wanted to show it to you guys because if you like crop tops, 
You're gonna love this shirt, and there's actually options of ways you can wear it. So you ready for this? Anyway, so I'm gonna show you this adorable shirt. There's actually two ways you could wear it, uh, not intentionally, but it's so cute not to share, and some of you guys might like it. It also comes in black. Um, so if you don't like to see bare tummies, because I've gotten this comment before where I should be ashamed because I'm a mother and I shouldn't be showing my stomach. So if you're a firm believer in that, just close your eyes for the next five, let's say 10 seconds just to be safe. Okay, so this is a crop top from Free People. Look how cute this is. Um, it's full on crop top. Usually crop tops that I get, if I'm willing to wear them, are like right at my navel. And uh, this one is not. This is an actual short crop top. But I got this so I could wear it with denim overalls. I don't know if I'm still going to because with denim overalls, your butt hangs out, right, from the back. So you have to be super careful. Anyway, um, you can actually wear it like this too. Isn't that super cute? But that's a lot more skin than I show ever at all, total. So this is gonna be the option. So anyway, where y'all come in is, should I keep it? I don't know if I should keep it or not. Cause I don't, I'm not gonna be uncomfortable or self-conscious. It's just not really my, it's just not my preference, you know? I don't have anything back here. So when I have a bare tummy, I feel like it's just, you guys know we all have our thing, you know, like mine used to be my chicken legs and then I got over that and then it was like my snaggle tooth, whatever, you know, like I just, it is what it is. It's the package I come in. Like, okay, let's just, let's put it this way. Let's say that you like Kit Kats, right? And for the entire existence of the Kit Kat, it's come in a red orange wrapper with, I don't even remember the colors of the letters. But then after like 40 years of being on the market, it decides to change clothes and it decides to be a different presentation, but it's still the same candy bar. So are you gonna stop liking it? No, right? So that's kind of what I feel like in terms of my body. I used to be super, 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 super skinny. I mean, skinny. Then I had kids and I got hips. For the first time in my life, I got hips. I know it may not look like it, like, well, Danny, those aren't really hips, but I got hips, uh, for me at least. <laughs> And then I was like, man, none of my clothes fit. I was under pre-pregnancy weight. Like I lost all my baby weight and then some, but none of my clothes still fit. So I had to learn to love it. You know, I got on YouTube and people would give me so much criticism about my gummy smile. I would even get um, emails with links. <laughs> All right, I can already tell this topic's gonna be a little bit longer than it needs to be, so let's sit down. So you guys, people would go to the extreme of even sending me um, emails with links to plastic surgeons that their specialty was fixing gummy smiles. Did you know that was a thing? Like they fix your gummy smile. My smile has never been something that I'm self-conscious or insecure about. There's been a ton of things, like I go through my phases, but my smile has never been one of them. But I was like, I wanna see how they actually do the surgery, because how do you fix a gummy smile? Don't. Google how to fix a gummy smile. Ow, holy <laughs> Um. Anyway, um, so yeah, it was, I started YouTube and then it was like, oh my God, your gummy smile, or why don't you fix your weird tooth? Like I have, is he there right there? That tooth that sticks out. And anytime I do like a picture of like a makeup look or whatever, and I post it on my Instagram, if I smile, you'll see it. It sticks out like it's like, hello, I'm right here. And there's so many things I could do. Like I could get braces and fix it. I could actually shave it down because that tooth is bonded. The reason it sticks out is because I actually had it bonded by some like rando dentist um, for cash. This was like way back in the day. I was probably like, I don't know, 13 or something. So it was bonded uh, from when I was little, I fell down and I fell face first into like a cement curb. And so my tooth was chipped right in half and I never had it fixed until later in life. So I could just have it shaved down, but I'm like, it doesn't bother me. Like, and it helps me like when I'm eating a popsicle or a sandwich. No, I'm <laughs> anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is we have one body that we live in for the rest of our lives. We can move 40,000 different times in our lifetime. We can uh, date 40,000 different people in our lifetime. We can visit 40 million different countries in a lifetime. I don't think there's 40 million countries, but you know what I'm getting at. But this is the body that we live in. 
you know, and if you want to dress it with pom-poms, feathers, and like, I don't know, rhinestones, do it. And if you want to dress it in crop tops and denim shorts, do it. And if you want to, as long as you're dressing yourself in a way that you like and makes you feel proud and you're not offending anyone else. So whatever choice you make on how you dress yourself, if it makes you happy, why does it matter? You know what I mean? So yeah, we all have our moments of insecurities where I'm like, right now I'm like, well, I'm a mom. I can't imagine going to drop off my six-year-old at kindergarten in a crop top, personal choice. Um, not because I'm ashamed of my body, not because I'm uncomfortable. Like right now I'm sitting hunched over on my bed and my belly's hanging out. And if y'all have ever had kids before, I don't care if you have a six pack, that leather belly never goes away. So I don't know. Life's too short to hate the building you live in. You know what I mean? Like, love the building. And when the paint color in that building changes, and when the structure changes, and when all your clothes don't fit you anymore, even though you're pre-pregnancy weight, buy new clothes. At the end of the day, ain't no thing, you guys. It's no big deal. Dress however you want, do whatever you want, live respectfully, live uh, in a way that makes you proud, and makes those that you care about, trust their opinion and love, makes them proud. But other than that, um, y'all are good. However, should I keep the crop top or not? Nah? <laughs> hey you guys, two o'clock. I just finished filming this Get Ready With Me, but I'm having conflicting thoughts. I don't know how I feel about it. It was one of those ideas or concepts that in my head sounded great, but once I applied the shadow, it totally transformed. Can we talk about this for a second? <laughs> It totally transformed on me. So believe it or not, I'm wearing purple eyeliner right underneath this blue looking thing. This is like an icy blue transformation all of a sudden. It wasn't supposed to be that way. I'm using a full on purple eyeliner, full on purple shadow. I stacked them and then it's like, boom, icy blue. It kind of looks like this now. Actually, this is lavender. Uh, what do we think? Do we like it? Do we not like it? I mean, I kind of like everything else. This foundation. <sighs> Oh, you guys, osmosis, something, 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 satin foundation. <gasps> uh, Brianna Stanko, do you want to be my new best friend? She's the one that sent it to me, actually. Um, isn't it amazing? She sells it on her, um, it's like a luxury, uh, non-toxic skincare and beauty products um, e-tailer. I don't know if there's a storefront. I don't think there is. It's called Premier Look. Um, and she's like, oh, <laughs> if you like Biotint, I'm gonna send you two Osmosis products that are gonna change your life. Um, Brianna, you have officially changed my life. Do you wanna be my girlfriend? <laughs> anyway, it's two o'clock. I have to go downstairs and take the thumbnail pictures, portraits, thumbnail pictures, selfies, whatever, for my get ready with me. Um, and then I'm gonna fill my monthly favorites. And then I have some errands to do, but I don't like to be super rushed back to back to back. So I don't know if I'm gonna do those, especially because Dallas is 30 degrees today. Ask me what it was yesterday. Just ask me, just take a minute. Ask me what the weather was yesterday. 75, it was 75. And I was hiding in my Harry Potter closet with four dogs two that potentially want to murder each other um, for about 20 minutes because we were having a tornado. And now today it's 30 degrees. I'd just like to take a moment to mourn the sanity of Dallas weather <laughs> just for a second. So yeah, it's 30 degrees. I don't want to go out in 30 degree weather. I already have to go out tonight, but if I go out, I could get some new shoes. So that's kind of my motivation at this point. I don't know, you guys. Let's go take pictures. Um, I'm heading out the door. I wanted to show you guys my outfit. This weather is insane. I'm gonna freeze to death for sure, but 
What are you gonna do when you gotta look cute? Okay, we gotta figure this out for a sec. Um, at 7.30 we have reservations at this new place in Uptown called Plate. P-L-8, Plate. Um, and then we're gonna head over to Waterproof at the Statler, a new hotel. Um, so I'm excited to bring you guys along. I know you haven't seen Hilda in a hot minute. So outfit of the day is my uniform when it's cold. It's my sweater dress, my ruched sweater dress from Express and over the knee boots with tights. Y'all know how I roll. Do I really need to show you? Like, are you gonna make me? All right, I'll show you. I put on my jacket too. Um, I don't know, just to show you guys the entire outfit. I'm going for like this cute rocker chic feminine look and trying not to be cold. I'm actually wearing like full length Spanx underneath, so I'm not gonna get as cold as it looks I might be. Um, these tights are from Express. And then these boots are velvet over the knee boots from DSW. I think they were like 30 bucks, you guys. Anyway, so that's the entire outfit for tonight. I was going to use a scarf, but um, I just don't want to bother carrying it around. It might be a good idea, though. Maybe I'll just throw it in my car just in case. But that's all we got going on right now. So um, let's head out the door. We'll go to plate, have dinner there, and then we'll head over to the Statler. Super excited. <music> place is super cute. It's a bistro slash art gallery. So we're gonna have appetizers and take home some art. Just kidding. Look at this bench. I don't know if you guys can even tell. I need some light. Can you help me out here? No, I'm just kidding. Hold on. Can you see? And I burn it. No, I'm just kidding. That laugh that you hear, you guys, guess who it is? <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Okay, so this restaurant, check it out. How cute is that? Look at little trees and all the art that you see on the wall. It's for sale. It's also a gallery. It goes up. There's the bar. Look how cute it is. Isn't that the best? Okay, so Hilda got a bourbon drink. I guess it's their take on like an old fashioned. Um, and then I have my only drink of the night. What is this called? Modern Smash. Modern Smash. It's called Modern Smash. <laughs> I don't even remember what it is. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, that's right. Here. It's Jack Daniels, speaking my language, berries and syrup and mint. Oh, and then yours is um, bourbon, chocolate bitters, marshmallow cream. <gasps> Ready? Cheers. Ching, ching. Okay, you guys, so we got the ruffle board. Don't these little pieces of toast look like ruffles? It's bread, though. It's like fancy bread that looks like cheap chips. Nice. Do you like it? <laughs> Here we have a quinoa salad. Thank Here you. is the tuna. How good does that look? And then over here is uh, a crab cake. How cute is this little cassoulet? Isn't that adorable? I wonder, it's not even hot though. This, I'm curious to try this. Very curious. I don't, I can't judge it just by looks. But look at that. So pretty, right? Hey you guys, it's 11 o'clock. I am currently at the Statler at their rooftop bar. It's called Waterproof. Check out this view. Hey, hey you guys it is 2 30 in the morning i just got home um you know what it feels really great to go out and not drink <laughs> So I had to drive from where I live all the way to downtown, which is a pretty long drive. And I was like, I want to go out, but I don't feel like drinking. Because then the next day, the recovery and all that stuff and all the water you have to drink and the, I don't know, ibuprofen or whatever. So I drank club soda all night. <laughs> club soda and lime. So it totally looked like I had a drink. I really didn't. Um, anyway, so 2.30, I just got home. I'm gonna wash my face, go to bed, and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna do a bulletproof coffee experiment. So I'm super excited about that. I looked up several recipes. Um, so we'll do that in the morning, or bulletproof coffee. Um, I guess I'll film a video or two and get some errands done. 
But other than that, I don't have social plans for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday. And then Sam arrives on Thursday. So ideally, I would like to get a really um, big step ahead on my videos um, for the week after she leaves since I won't be able to film next weekend. Um, anyway, so that's it. Um, I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you um, how hard it was for me to... Um, it was weird. Like whenever I go out in Dallas, usually guys don't approach me like ever. Um, so it's really cool because I can just hang out with my friends. We have a good time and I don't have to worry about it. So tonight, I don't know if it was these velvet boots that y'all picked out for me, but um, I had to keep like curving dudes. Sorry you guys, my arm got tired. It wasn't even like they were super handsome either. They were like 20. <laughs> I was like, I could be your mother. <laughs> so they were like super young, probably like 25 or younger. And they were like, yeah. So, uh, and then doing that thing, you know, with that from that movie where they like do the Night at the Roxbury. They were like, yeah. So do you like come here often? Like, do you have fun? Like, what do you do for work? And I was like, not talk to you. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm always super nice and polite when, um, you know, strangers try and talk to me, but I'm just... <gasps> Guys, I keep yawning on y'all. Okay, I need to go to bed. I'm very tired. Um, I'll see you in the morning, uh, and I love you. Hey, you guys. Good morning. Happy Sunday. It is 9 o'clock. I'm so tired. I want to spend the rest of the day in bed, but I did that on Friday. But it was because of a headache. Do you guys ever do that where you're like, well, I was sick, so it doesn't count? <laughs> I wish I could just spend the entire day in bed ordering Uber Eats and watching HBO. But I have a lot of work to do. So, um, it's 9 o'clock now. I want to go downstairs and show you guys my uh, mini Thrive Market haul. I told you at the beginning of this video that a portion of this video was sponsored by Thrive Market. And it's been a while since I showed you guys one of my Thrive Market hauls. I do have a membership to the site, so um, it's where I get certain like feminine hygiene products. I order a calming supplement for my dogs off that site. Um, it's just a really cool place to explore 100% um, non-GMO products. But I guess all in all, like my favorite feature of the entire site is that it makes it easy for people with like dietary restrictions or I don't know, anyone that's just trying to explore new, like a, oh, all right, hello. Sophia's favorite thing about Thrive Market is that um, you can filter your search. So if you're like on a paleo diet, on a keto diet, on um, I don't know, vegan diet, you're able to filter your searches and it makes it super, super, super easy to find products that are gonna be just 100% right for you. Which for me is always a little daunting because I'll walk into my local grocery store and I'm like, oh, I wanna try you know something that's gluten-free um, just to kind of decrease my gluten intake um, and I have to stand there for a while and read labels and see if it's actually gluten free or you know the nutritional facts and so here I could do it from the comfort of my own home which is always kind of nice in my pajamas <laughs> anyway so let's go downstairs I'm going to show you guys what I got it's actually a really small haul um, but it's a haul with something in mind because I've been curious to try bulletproof coffee or rather I've tried it before I really like it but I'm like I could totally do this at home, right? Yeah, let's. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually gonna link my previous Thrive Market haul in the description box below so that you guys can get a better idea of like the types of snacks and stuff that I order from this website. Um, so when I was looking to shop for the purpose of this video, just to do something fun and like interesting with you guys, I was like, I've been looking into doing bulletproof coffee at home on my own, so this might be a really great way to do it. When I partner up with Thrive Market, they do give me a special link that I'm gonna have listed in the description box below. It's not a promo code, it's a link. So all you have to do is follow that link if you wanna explore the site. And what that link is gonna get you is $60 worth of free groceries, free shipping, and a free 30-day trial. So this is kind of like Amazon Prime, where it is like a membership. About 70% of the items on this site can't be found on Amazon. So it's like shopping from one of those healthier grocery stores from the comfort of your own home, um, which for me is kind of a big deal because I don't have one of those types of grocery stores by my house. If I wanna go to one of those, I have to drive I would say 15 to 20 miles, which for a grocery store, it should be 
three, four, five miles, maybe, right? So this is kind of giving accessibility to non-GMO groceries, um, organic groceries, or even just bath products, cosmetics, um, things for your pets, all kinds of stuff, nutritional supplements, uh, it's giving everyone access to those even if they are not in your local neighborhood. Okay, so for my haul, it's kind of interesting because the stuff that I ordered was for my Bulletproof coffee. I really go by the reviews. That for me is major. Um, I wish I was more into writing reviews on these websites because I know how much I actually rely on them. But I'll, I'll show you guys, when I get to the collagen, I had to go with the reviews because otherwise I was super confused. I was like, I don't know which one's better. I don't know which one tastes better. It's kind of like protein powder, right? That's kind of how Thrive Market helped me. The last time I had to do a grocery type haul because I was looking for a protein powder. And I was like, do I want plant-based? Um, do I want it to have a flavor? And it's just, it's very confusing. So it kind of narrows it down. You can filter your results or your search, and then you read reviews. So thank you, Thrive Market users, for writing such helpful reviews, because I was able to narrow down this purchase. And this is organic bone broth collagen in vanilla flavor. Collagen is important. Um, it's kind of like a beauty treatment. So it is a, it is a health supplement. It is good for you. Um, it is healthy for your body. However, the primary reason that I do collagen supplements or I make my own bone broth at home and I just sip it like coffee, it's not very delicious. But the primary purpose in terms of a beauty treatment is it's anti-aging. So it helps protect your cells from um, free radical damage. Free radical damage is what happens to us and makes us age faster, right? And by protecting our cells from free radicals, what it's doing is it's making our hair thicker, shinier, our nails grow faster. Um, but all in all, collagen is more for mobility and joint health and things like that. So collagen is actually really good for your pets. Um, anyway, so I didn't know that they sold collagen powder in sweet flavors. So I got vanilla and it's really cool because in the back it kind of gives you a breakdown of like what it's free of. Um, it tells you it's very clearly labeled in the back. You have all the nutritional facts. So I got a Costco size container of um, a brand called Ancient Nutrient and this is their um, organic bone broth collagen um, in the flavor of vanilla. They also have I want to say chocolate but there is a different flavor and then they also have different varieties of supplements um, that aren't just collagen. Um, okay, then we got some ghee. The best way to describe ghee is butter, right? But it's a butter that people that are lactose free can also consume. Now, I didn't get the salt free one, which is the one that I should have gotten to put it in my Bulletproof coffee. So we're gonna cross our fingers that it doesn't really affect the recipe too much. Um, so this is from a brand called Organic Valley. And the reviews on this one versus any of the other brands was like crazy. Like this was you have to get this one basically based on reviews. When you're looking to buy a ghee, you wanna make sure that it's grass fed or pasture fed cows that produce the ghee because that's how you're gonna actually get nutritional sustenance out of this product. You're gonna get your vitamins A, E, um, D from the product. And then we got some pure MCT oil. Um, it's a supplement and <laughs> when it arrived in this big glass jar, by the way, they send everything really well packed. This is another um, supplement or product that goes into Bulletproof Coffee instead of coconut oil, which is a huge thing that I hear people use in Bulletproof Coffee. If you're making real Bulletproof Coffee the way it was designed to be done, you have to use um, an MCT oil. You're gonna bypass um, the like metabolic absorption through the liver. So you want that clean, fast energy right away, but you also want it to last all day. So not something that's going to take your body too much work to give you the energy, but it's also gonna convert into ketones and kind of um, process it better than average carbs or sugar. And then the last thing that I got, and the only reason I got this is because Alex from Define Dish, um, she's a food blogger, a Whole30 paleo food blogger, is always doing coconut aminos in her food. 
And I was like, what is the point of coconut aminos? So I was all like nerdy Google status. And I was like, oh, why don't I have that in my home? I don't care if you're not Whole30, if you're not um, vegan, if you're not paleo, if you're not on any sort of dietary restriction or diet, coconut aminos is such a great um, product or seasoning for your food because it takes the place of something like a soy sauce. So it's going to give you that like um, umami saltiness in your food, but um, it's like 70% less sodium than a regular soy sauce. Plus, unlike a lot of soy sauces, it's gluten-free. Gluten this one in particular is from a brand called Coconut Secret. Um, it's the original Coconut Aminos. Again, it had really great reviews, and I think it's probably because it's the best-selling brand of this product. Um, it's 100% organic, gluten-free, free, non-GMO, no MSG, and vegan. So this is sufficient or good enough for people on a lot of different diets. Okay, so we're gonna do bulletproof coffee together. But if you guys are interested in checking out Thrive Market, remember that I do have a link in the description box below. That link is going to allow you to shop from the website three different times. So you're gonna get a credit of $20 every single time. And as long as you spend $49, which Y'all don't wanna know how much I spent on this. <laughs> um, it's going to give you free shipping. So you have 30 days to play around on that website, shop for snacks. You guys, I get a lot of snacks for my kids there and they come in like individual um, packs. I also get panty liners from that website. I know, it's random. I get a relaxing supplement for my dogs from that website. It's kind of one of those sites that you have to check it out, you have to explore, you have to dive into it and see how awesome it is. It's gonna give you a lot of options. Protein powders, you guys, when I was looking for a new protein powder when I started going to the gym regularly, I was like, oh my gosh, am I overwhelmed or am I excited? Because there were so many different options and you could really narrow it down based on your diet. Um, you could see the nutritional facts. So it's not going to like, force you into a decision because there's two options. It's going to assist you in making a better decision because every item is very specific as to what the ingredients are or the nutritional facts, the reviews that people have submitted, how much cheaper it is than any other place you could find it. Again, 25 to 50% off their products and a lot of these products you can't even find on Amazon. You have to actually walk in to one of those healthier grocery stores. So are you guys excited? Cause I'm really excited. Okay, I'm not that excited. I just really want my coffee. So we're gonna make this together. Um, let me put this stuff away. I'll need to take out my Vitamix because when you're doing bulletproof coffee, you want it to be a really frothy latte. Okay, so we're gonna talk about it. Bulletproof coffee, it's a little controversial because it's not as nutritionally dense as if you had a wholesome breakfast, right? But it is a high performance drink, just like I don't know, you go through the trouble of a protein shake or something like that. It's a high performance drink. It helps with mental clarity. It's a hunger suppressant. Um, and it's also um, clean energy. So what we're gonna do is I have my little Vitamix back here ready to go. So the most common ratio for an at-home bulletproof coffee is eight to 10 ounces of freshly brewed coffee, um, one to two tablespoons of your MCT oil or brain octane oil, um, and then one to two tablespoons of ghee. I'm actually going to add collagen powder, which is a common mix-in. Um, you don't see it on the original bulletproof recipe because it's not how it's meant to be, but it's kind of like a protein shake where you can add supplements so that's kind of what we're doing here is the collagen powder is just going to function as like an additional supplement like if you were adding probiotics to it. So for that, it's just gonna be a scoop. So you're gonna follow the liquid to powder ratio that it says on the back of whatever collagen powder you're using. Kind of excited, so uh, let's do this. Okay, so if you're curious to see what ghee looks like, it just looks like clarified butter. Like it's not super magical, mysterious or anything. It smells really good as well. Mm, it's delicious. Um, this is what the collagen uh, powder looks like. Don't be discouraged when you first open it because you will get that like waft of bone broth, but it's actually quite sweet and delicious. Um, and then this is what the MCT oil looks like. It's just a liquid, you guys can see it in there. Um, so I already have my 10 ounces of brewed coffee here. It is warm as you can see.
You guys, how fast was that? Look at that. Is this not the most delicious frothy latte you've ever seen in your lives? I haven't tasted it. You can see clear rim. He's ready for this. That's really good. I was nervous. I told you guys about this collagen powder. I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be the worst. It took me a while to get used to tasting bone broth. Um, it's good for, you know, people like me that are anemic or also people that struggle with breakage in hair, bone, uh, joints, nail growth, things like that. So it took me a while to get used to the flavor of that, but once I found out they sold collagen powder with sweet flavors like vanilla and chocolate, I was like, Ooh, I can drink coffee, which I'm going to anyway, um, but I can make it better and I can also get that kick of energy that's not going to make me crash. So again, like I told you guys, I realize Bulletproof Coffee is not for everyone. It is meant to be a meal substitute for those of you that um, are trying to lose weight um, because it is a hunger suppressant, but it's also a high performance energy drink that isn't so... It's not nutritionally dense, but it does have some nutrients in it if you pick the right product. So if you go with like a grass-fed ghee, um, if you go, make sure it's like non-GMO organic, everything, like no pesticides or anything like that. Um, so if you go with a grass-fed ghee, if you add supplements that you normally would take, like a collagen, um, if you use an MCT oil versus just a regular coconut oil, there are going to be some added benefits. So bulletproof coffee isn't something that I would do every day, but it's probably something that I would do maybe every other day or on days where I know I'm just going to be super, super busy. Um, make sure that you do drink it warm because you are trying to homogenize two fatty products into a liquid like the coffee um, and it helps if you have a bullet type or a Vitamix type blender because if you're adding a powder supplement the worst thing that you could do is have grit or like little powder chunks in there you don't want that so um, I'm going to enjoy my coffee i do have a lot of work to do um today um but i also have errands that i want to run i don't know what is going to take precedent <laughs> i don't know if i'm going to make the right choices um so i'll probably run upstairs right now and edit tomorrow's video because it's not ready <laughs> my bad um and then i don't know at some point maybe get uber eats or in and out what am i doing with my life you guys <laughs> all right you guys it's 1:30. Can someone please tell me why I thought it was a great idea to clean my garage? Like, do people clean their garages? Is that even a thing? Or is this one of my compulsive things that I do? Because I do a lot of these compulsive things, like organized Tupperware. <laughs> so, yeah, I cleaned, I cleaned my garage. Like, I, I organized it. My garage is empty. What is there to organize? Oh, I was there for a few hours. <laughs> Um, I'm barely sitting down to film. I should have already done this already. And I have, I'm kind of torn because I don't know if I should do my favorites tomorrow um, or my review of the biotent. So I think I might post a uh, poll on my Instagram and then y'all can decide and tell me. Um, it won't matter here because it'll be after the fact. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, yeah, 1.30, uh, editing a video right now. Actually, I'm gonna go put the poll. So, but then that's gonna make me wait. If I do the poll, then I have to wait for the results, right? Should I even ask? Oh, these are the things that you, that you think of. Um, I guess I'll see how long, which, which one's longer. My favorites this month is ridiculous. I don't know, I don't remember, like my camera. So my DSLR cuts off every 10 minutes and I had to like restart it like five times. So this video is gonna be very long. But I love my favorites and most of you guys watch my videos on Mondays. I think I'll do that. I think what I'm gonna do is I will post my favorites tomorrow then my biotint review may be Thursday and then I'll do a get ready with me the following Monday and then I can do my Sam video that next Thursday. Oh my God, I figured it out. <gasps> you guys, thanks for your help. Thank you for talking this through with me. <laughs> you guys, it's 7.30. Um, I just got out of the shower, which is why my hair looks this fabulous. Um, 
So I posted that poll on my Insta story if you guys wanted to see the bio tint or the favorites. Um, it's, I don't know if you guys can even tell, but it's so ridiculously um, obvious that you guys want to see my favorites tomorrow. So that's the video that I had started um, editing, but for some reason I just got like really heavy all of a sudden where I couldn't even keep my eyes open. And I'm like, whoa, bro, what the heck's happening? What's going on here? And I'll have these like bouts of lethargy still where I'm like, they're completely inexplicable. I'm like, what is going on? So I was like, you know what? I don't have plans today, so what I'm going to do is I'll give myself the, I'll allow myself to go rest. So I'll lay in bed for a little bit. I'm not a big napper, like it's just not my style. I'll just go rest in bed for a little bit. I'll watch TV. Well, so y'all, my TV was on the murder channel as per usual. Y'all know how I feel about those like serial killer shows and, and snapped and <laughs> forensic files. So it was on this marathon of, um, What's that show called where you're living with like a crazy ex? Like it turns out that your like ex-husband's like a murderer or like he beats you every day or whatever. I fell asleep to a marathon of that show. I think it's called Evil Lives Here. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Needless to say, I was in that show <laughs> when I accidentally fell asleep. So now it's 7.30. I haven't finished editing my video, but the good news is that I ordered Uber Eats. And I don't know if you guys are observant at all, but sometime between yesterday afternoon and this morning, I chipped my front tooth. So if you guys go back, maybe like a year and a half ago, my front tooth was chipped. I've never cared, it's teeth, whatever. You know, it's not broken, it was just chipped. So they were two different lengths. So I had it bonded because I don't like veneers. Um, and wait a minute, is that what I think it is? So now I have a chipped front tooth. It's not like a side tooth. It's not like a little tooth. It's my front and center tooth. You know what though? It doesn't even matter because I'm getting Uber Eats. So whatever. Anyway, the point of this check-in is I fell asleep. I had a horrible dream. I had a shower. Now my hair looks like a mess and my tooth is chipped. But you know what? None of that matters because Uber Eats is going to be here in 40 minutes. You're welcome. <laughs> it just turned into a really good night because my Uber Eats food arrived like 20 minutes early. Yeah, you guys, let's be honest, not all superheroes wear capes, okay? So, Kylon, you're my hero today. You, you're you the real MVP. <laughs> so I got, okay, let's talk about this for a second. I got three sushi rolls and a soup. Do you know how much silverware they gave me or plasticware? I'm like, do you know this is just for me or are you trying to shame me? Or are you just, you know, being very generous and saying, you know, in case you don't want your food to touch? I don't know. Anyway, so they gave me a lot of silverware and I was like, I'm just going to need one of these. <laughs> okay, so I got the usual. This is Rainbow Roll without salmon. Uh, not necessarily the biggest fan of salmon. There's a big backstory behind why. Um, then I got a California roll. For some reason, I was like, ooh, that sounds delicious. It's like the fakest sushi roll on the planet, but whatever. Um, and then this is called the Frisco roll. It's like a shrimp tempura roll with cream cheese and then like some sort of spicy mayo on top. And then I don't know why I left my miso soup all the way over here. So there's my soup. There's my extra spoon, all this uh, soy sauce. Uh, and then this is all the other stuff and the other ones that I put away. Do you guys save extra plasticware just in case you need it? Okay, I do. Well, whatever, you guys. <laughs> so I'm about to eat. So excited. Hey, you guys. 11.30. I just finished filming my favorites for tomorrow. Um, I'm actually not very tired. I'm going to force myself to go to bed because it's Monday and Monday is always such a, such a, such an exhausting day. Um, but... Next week is going to be epic, all sorts of epic. So Sam arrives first thing Thursday morning. We're gonna have, uh, we're gonna spend the day with the boys. We're gonna hang out, go to dinner, do whatever, do something fun. 
And then um, Friday, she'll be here Thursday through Monday morning. Um, it's gonna be just so much fun. We're gonna hang out with a couple of my other girlfriends that you guys have seen in the vlogs before. And then Sunday, Sunday is the pizza festival here in Dallas. So kind of looking very forward to that. Stretchy pants Sunday for sure. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed spending your weekend with me. Um, I know I always look forward to it. So um, I'm heading to bed. I need to clean up. I have a disaster in my bathroom. As you can see, I was doing some product shots and I need to move stuff around you guys. I need to make it happen. I just, I'm not very good at putting it back. I mean, I do eventually. So. <laughs> I'll probably do that right now and then head to bed, but like any and all my vlogs, any of the stuff that you guys see um, in the footage will be listed and linked in the description box below. But other than that, y'all know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys. P.S. Hopefully the next time you see me, my tooth isn't chipped anymore. <laughs>